Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to go over how to measure your total external static pressure on your furnace so you are setting up your blower speeds properly. So with this, you're going to be wanting to use the uh, SDMN6, which is what we have here. Um, and the way you're going to do this is that you need to be below your evaporator coil and after your air filter. So this one's easy because uh, the coil's up high. If you have an issue where the coil is sitting directly on top of the furnace, you can go on the side or in the back of the furnace and drill a hole to put your pitot tube. But since this one is up high, we will put our pitot tubes in right below. And we'll put it in, and you want the pitot tube to point into the airflow. So this one's pointing down. For the return side, I take out the little sight glass on the door and we insert it there so we don't have to drill another hole. And again, this one return is coming through the bottom so the uh, arrow is going to point down. At this point, I will get the blower started. And we will measure the static pressure. So once the blower starts, this is showing two different numbers. The P1, which is this tube here, is showing our supply side is at a 0.16 inches water column of static. The bottom number is our total external static at 0.22. If we hit the P1, P2, we can switch it. The 0.06 is our return, so there's hardly any static on there. This is still our total. So that's the way, once you get your total external static pressure, you can go to your blower chart and check out your CFM and make sure you're setting up your CFM to the proper amount going for whatever tonnage air condition you have. So it's very easy to do. I recommend that you guys start doing this on all your jobs and we supply these. So feel free to come in and get one of these at your leisure. Thanks for watching.